Poland. Two of the fastest ladies also in lane three at Kristina. Malvinova of Russia also with the personal best of under 52 seconds. Hasn't got anywhere near that this season though. In fact, none of these ladies under 52 seconds yet this year. There is Malvinova of Russia. Did set her season best in the heats of 53-57. Personal best dates back to uh, 2012. There's uh, Marta Milani. Former finalist in the European Championships back in 2010. Very decent 800 metre run up, by the way, as well. Two minutes and one, the best in that. There, the full start list. In this first of three semi-finals the first two across the line through as of right and then two more to sweat over being the fastest losers so in lane one we have camellia Corina Gal of romania 53 60 at her best but she's a couple of seconds off that so far this season she should be struggling there on the inside lane. In lane two from Estonia, Annika Zakarias. In the 200 metres in 2013, went out in the semi finals, went out in the heats in the 400 hurdles. Now changed two years later to the 400 flat through as a fastest loser from the earlier heats. Christina Malvinova of Russia going in lane three at her very best. One of the best in this field. Can she produce it here today? Lenny Shida of Uganda in lane four. Set a new personal best, 53-24 at altitude earlier this season in Kampala. Semi-finalist in last year's Commonwealth Games. Marta Milani of Italy in lane five. 51-86 at the very best. A couple of seconds off that so far. She'll expect to do better than that here today. Malga Zata Holop of Poland in lane six also. Sub-52 at her best. Set that best, in fact, in coming fourth in last year's European Champions. Yulia Lakmanova of Kazakhstan in lane seven. National champion, setting a new personal best in winning that title earlier this year. And out on the outside lane, from Moldova, is Alicia Kozjahari, eighth in this event two years ago in Kazan. Hold up of the Moldovan national record. Well, current form, not much in between a few of these girls, but certainly Melvinova in three, Milani in five, and Holub in six at their best would be the favourites to go through here. Only two, though, go through as of right. Crowd been asked for quiet again. As the semi finals of the women's 400 metres gets underway. Perfect silence being observed. Well, we've got a clean start then from all eight. And already making up ground in the fourth lane is uh, Leni Shida. Who's on the inside, Milia Florina Gal of Romania doing quite well at this early stage, but now down the back straight and it's Milani really starting to go through the gears, as is Malvinova of Russia in lane three. So he come to the top bend. And uh, Holub as well of Poland in lane six, also keeping up with Milani around that top end as they come into the home straight. Melvin over though with some work to do, I think, by the looks of it as it winds out. And it's Milani in the lead, coming down the home straight. Melvin over and Holub battling away. And in fact, it's Holub who's been the strongest down this home straight. She's going to take the win in this first semi final. Milani digging deep to take second place, and Melvin over rather fades down that home straight. 52 66. 
A big season's best there for the Italian, taking at least a second off her best this year. In fact, Holub, I do beg your pardon. Yeah, it was a good run by the pole. To be honest with you, she looked easily the most relaxed of those girls coming down the home straight. Always looked in control. She was on the outside of the two women chasers, so wouldn't really have been very aware of them until they came off the bend, what she actually had to do, but she looked very, very easy indeed. Very, very good run. We we're talking about trying to get through the rounds with little amount of energy exerted as possible, and that was a great demonstration of it. Yeah, 52.66 at decent qualification time, and it looks like she does have more in the tank for the final. Mata Milani, well, she's taken a se over a second off her season's best, 52.76 in second place. And Mel Vinova as well, a big season's best for her too in third place, 53.19, just ahead of Leni Shida of Uganda in fourth. It's a terrific run by the Italian. She uh, went off hard, didn't panic when the pole went past her and then used the pole to drag her to the line. And she looked a little bit tense, didn't she, down that home straight? Even got the dip in as well. Fortunately for her, Melvinova rather faded down that home straight, started going backwards. The lactic acid, perhaps, just starting to kick in. So the three expected favourites uh, finishing one, two, three. Holub and Milani through as of right into the 400 metres final. Melvinova, well, she will just have to wait now to see exactly what happens in the second and third semi-finals. Now the second semi-final of the women's 400 meters will take place on the track. So then that's the first of the semi-finals out of the way. Two more still to come. Second of which should be a battle between Justina Sweetie of Poland, Justine Palfram.